I present to you the top 10 traps in anime. Number 10. Number 9. Demon Slayer, the training arc traps. The uh, traps on the mountain that are meant to train Tanjiro. To be honest, this is just a place filler. I couldn't think of any significant traps at all in anime. Number 8. This one is an absolute classic. We have the It's a Trap from Sword Art Online, I think it was season 2. <laughs> Number 7. Assassination Classroom. The traps that are set up by the students in order to kill Koro Sensei. Number 6. Goblin Slayer, the episode 7 tome trap, which was a real fucked up situation for the party. Number 5. Higurashi when they cry. Satoko's traps. Honestly, all of them. She's even got her own fucking trap mountain. How cool is that? Number 4. This girl from Erimanga Sensei, who is obviously a, a set up by the FBI to catch predators. Not much. My mom did teach me how to handle a good dick, though. Oh, well, that seems pretty not. Wait, did you just say what I think you just said? Girls my age love a bit of dangler. How old are you anyway? I'm five. Don't you dare fucking lie to me. Plus seven. What kind of cryptic bullshit is wait? So five plus seven equals one, two, three. How do you count the twelve again? <gasps> Number three. Recommending Boku no Pico to beginner weebs. The ultimate move. Number two. Jojo's Bizarre Adventures. Diamond is unbreakable. Killer Queen. Just everything Killer Queen does. All of the pre-planned explosives, especially the doorknob. Killer Queen was Number one. And finally, we reach the ultimate trap, and that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic Cylinder. The clutchest bullshit move anyone could pull out. Force! Oh, the heart of the cards is forcing me to draw an Exodia from my pocket! Oh, I can't help it! One last honourable mention, because I forgot it when I was actually making the video. Uh, that'd be the staircase from JoJo's Part 3. The never-ending staircase where Dio absolutely flexes on everyone with his time-stopping powers. Wanada. Wanayo. Wanada ne.